and welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Suzanne Bryan and this is the second video in a series on creating a bottom-up drop shoulder or modified drop shoulder garment starting from your measurements and your swatch and creating a schematic and then knitting from the schematic. In this video I'm going to discuss how to measure your swatches and figure out the grams per square inch and then also how to put your measurements on the My Body Measurements page and then how to transfer those measurements to your schematic and then last to figure out how many uh, grams of yarn you're going to need to create your sweater. So we're going to start out by discussing the swatches. In this particular sweater that I want to design, I'm going to have two different fabrics in the sweater. The majority of the sweater will be in these cable designs, but there are going to be some borders worked in the seed stitch design. So in order to figure out how much fabric I need for my project, I need to work swatches for both. And I need to work swatches for both uh, fabrics to also get my stitch and row gauge to knit my sweater accurately. So I measured these swatches. This one is 4 inches tall and uh, 4.5 inches wide. That gives us a square inches of 14 square inches. This is 4 inches <clears throat> tall, excuse me, and 3.75 inches wide. <clears throat> that gives us square area of 15 square inches. This one weighed 9.6 grams. This weighed 7.9 grams, even though it's larger. But cables use a lot more yarn. So we know this is 9.6 grams. We divide that by the 14 square inches and that gives us 0.68 grams per square inch of this fabric. That's an important number. This one is 15 square inches and it weighed 7.9 grams, almost 2 grams less than this. And that gives us 0.52 grams per square inch. We'll be using that information more in a minute, but that's we're starting out from a swatch then our measurements, then our schematic, and our sweater. So we have that information. Next, in the previous video, the first video of this series, I showed how to get your body measurements, and you can put them on this chart that comes with the tutorial. This is in conjunction with a tutorial called ITAG, I-T-A-G, Bottom Up Drop Shoulder Garment that is available on Ravelry. For sale, there'll be a link down um, below the description of the in the description of the video. So I've transferred all of my measurements onto this paper and then I added the ease. For example, around the bust and chest, I want to have 7 inches of ease and this is personal preference. You can use whatever ease you want. So it would give me a total bust or, or chest circumference of 44. I'm going to use it's not going to have any waist shaping. It's going to be boxy looking, so I'm going to keep my waist the same. My hips are 42. I'm going to add 2 inches to the hip area, so it's also 44. So I'm just basically going to have a very boxy sweater, but this is personal preference. You can put whatever numbers you want here. My upper arm measured 12 inches. That's this measurement right here, not the armhole. Here's the armhole. This is the upper arm. My up Because I'm knitting a drop shoulder is 12 inches. I'm going to have 2 inches of ease, so it's going to be 14 inches. My wrist is 5.5. I'm adding 1 inch of ease, so it'll be 6.5. The rest of the measurements, you don't add ease. You only add ease to the horizontal measurements. You do not add any ease to the vertical measurements. Then we're going to take these numbers and put them onto our schematic. The schematic does not have to be um, accurate square inch to square inch, but you, if you prefer, you can put this on um, gridded um, on graph paper so that you can actually have it um, relative size. So we know that the back neck, my back neck is 4.5, and on my sweater, on the body of my sweater, I want to leave room for a neck ribbing. It's going to be one inch. So if I have ribbing in here that's going to be one inch, then my body neck opening needs to be 4.5 from here to here, but an extra inch here and here. So that's 6.5. So from here to here 
is going to be 6.5 inches from here to here, the edge of the neck to the edge of the neck. The next number down is the bust. We know that the bust circumference is going to be 44. So we're going to divide that in half because this is half the chest and this is the other half of the chest. So we know that from here to here is going to be 22 inches. We know that the um, width of my upper sleeve from here to here is going to be 14 inches. We know that the width of the cuff is going to be 6.5 inches. Then we know the length from the back neck to the bottom of the sweater is going from from the back neck to the hip is going to be 22 inches. And everyone's will be different. This is mine. And those are about all the numbers you need to calculate if you are having one stitch pattern for your fabric. But I'm going to have two. And what I'm going to do is this area out here, I'm going to use my seed stitch. And I'm going to have that be two inches on either side. I'm just designing this off the top of my head. So that means that my cable fabric is going to be everything in here minus two inches and two inches. So if it's 22 inches wide, the cable fabric will be 18 inches times 22 inches times two, one for the front and one for the back. We'll use a calculator. Now I'm gonna get my trusty calculator out here. And so we have 18 times 22 times 2, and that gives us 792 square inches. Now let's figure out for the area, for that's the cable fabric for the body. And then we're going to figure out the seed stitch for the body. So we have 2 inches plus 2 inches plus 2 inches plus 2 inches. That's 8 inches times 22. And that will give us, of course I should be able to do this on my head, 176 square inches. So for the, just for the body, we have 8, 16, 8, 968 square inches total for the body, 792 equals cable, and we said that that is going to be 0 0.6 grams, 0 0.68 grams per square inch. The sleeve is going to be 176, I mean the uh, seed stitch for the body, and that's going to be times 0 0.52 square inches. Now let's do the sleeves. If you were to take this sleeve and draw it over here next to this sleeve, you would end up with a picture that looks like this. Right? So what are you going to do? You're going to add the width, the top width plus the bottom width. That's 14 plus 6.5. That's 20.5. So this is going to be 20.5 inches in length. And this is Oh, we have to figure out the arm length, don't we? So we have our total arm length over here is 28 inches right here. That means from here to here is 28 inches. If this is 22 inches wide, half of that's 11. So from here to here is 11 inches. And from here to here is 28. So if we subtract 11 from 28 from here to here is going to be 17 inches. So we're going to multiply 20.5 times 17 and that'll give us the square inches of both sleeves. 20.5 times 17 is a total of 348.5 square inches for the sleeve but part of it's going to be seed stitch. 
So if we can figure out the seed stitch area by going like this, drawing the other seed stitch in, so we know from here to here is for one sleeve of seed stitch. If I want, I need to figure out how wide I want my cable to be, I'm going to have it the same width as my sleeve. So it's going to be from here to here is going to be 6.5 inches. And all this is I'm just making it up how I want my sweater to be. You can do what you want for yours. The total is 14 minus 6.5. That gives us 7.5. So between here, well, we only need to know half of that, right? 7.5. 7.5 times 2 is 3.75. So this is 3.75 inches. This is 17 inches. 3.75. times 17 is so our for one sleeve it's 63.75 square inches this is the total sleeve this is the a seed stitch is 63.75 times 2 is 127.5 so that we know then that this is going to be 1, 2, 221 is going to be cable, and 127.5 is going to be seed stitch. So this is a lot of writing and a lot of math, but you can slow this video down, watch it over again, you'll get it. So the total of the cable is going to be 221 cable. 221 for the sleeve, for the body, is going to be 792. A thousand thirteen square inches for cable. For seed stitch, it's going to be 127.5 plus 176, and that gives us. 303.5. So we're going to multiply 303.5. So for the cable, this will give us our total grams. Cable, we're going to need 1013, 1013 times 0.68. That gives us 688.84. Grams. Then the seed stitch is going to be 303.5 times 0.52 grams per square inch, and that gives us 157.82 grams. And let's add those two together plus 688. Point eight four. So this sweater that I've designed is going to need 846.66 grams of yarn. And I multiply that by 10% to allow for swatching, button band, neck band, stuff like that. So we're going to multiply that by 1.1 to add it 10% to it. So we actually need, we need total yardage of yarn that's really grams equals 931.326 grams now this yarn that I used is a worsted weight yarn and it comes uh, it has 100 grams equals 200 meters Two, I'm 200 yards equals 100 grams so if I need 931 grams, I'm going to need 9 skeins plus 0.3. And so I'm going to need 10 skeins equals 10 skeins of yarn to create this sweater. Does that make sense? So let's look at a drop shoulder with saddles. It's very similar. You're just going to have your saddles. Maybe your cable will come up through here. So you'd count that as cable fabric instead of this. 
So let's recap. I know this is a very, very tough video, but you start with your fabric. You have obviously swatched before this to find the stitch patterns that you liked and the size needle that you want to use for the fabric that you like. I like this fabric. This is a worsted weight yarn with a US 7 needle. My seed stitch looks good. I like my cables. I'm using the same needle size for both swatches. Uh, so I, I have several other swatches that are larger that I created before this to find the needle size that I wanted to use. Then I created these two swatches specifically for calculating the amount of yarn that I'm going to need for my garment. Now you don't always have to do this. Many times patterns tell you exactly how much yarn you need. But if you're designing a sweater yourself from scratch, as we are in this tutorial, this is how you calculate how much yarn you're going to need for your project. The next thing is to have your body measurements, and that's in the previous video, which I'll have a link up in the corner of the video here where you can just click on that and go to this video. It shows you how to do this. Then you move those measurements onto your schematic, which I provide for you in the tutorial, and then you can calculate how much yarn you need. This is how you do it. If you like my videos, be for sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, watch more of them, share them with your friends, and I hope you enjoyed this and get something out of it. Happy knitting!